The bells have rung out across Britain, part of three days of commemorations here and across much of Europe. But nothing comes close to the spectacle underway in Russia, where about the only thing missing was that country's World War II allies. A celebration of victory and a chance for Russia to showcase its military might in one of the country's biggest Victory Day celebrations in decades. Russia's newest military hardware rumbled across Red Square. 16,000 troops marched in a perfected lockstep parade. More than 100 military aircraft roared overhead. Russia's allies that helped bring victory that day were nowhere to be seen, boycotted by President Obama and the leaders of Britain and France in protest of Moscow's meddling in Ukraine. President Vladimir Putin was instead joined by Chinese President Xi Jinping, among others. The Soviet Union lost more than 26 million soldiers and civilians in defeating the Nazis more than any other country. After more than six long years of bloodshed and hardship, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill came on the air in an historic speech announcing the end of the conflict. German war is at an end. We may allow ourselves a brief period of rejoicing. Rejoice they did, and it wasn't very brief. Millions took to the streets, flooding Piccadilly Circus, seizing the chance to celebrate the end of air raids and blackouts. They gathered outside Buckingham Palace, where a young Princess Elizabeth, there on the left in uniform, joined Churchill and her father, the King, on the balcony to greet thousands of well-wishers. And though the 70th anniversary of that day is a time to rejoice, it is also a time to reflect and remember those lost. In Paris, they closed down the Champs-Élysées to make way for the cavalry. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry joined the French foreign minister in ceremony, laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. And here in Britain this morning, cathedrals and churches across the country rang out at precisely 11 a.m., signifying an end to the years church bells had hung in silence during the war. There's a star-studded concert that will be held this weekend not far from Buckingham Palace, and a thousand veterans and their families will join the Queen for Thanksgiving service at Westminster Abbey. Charlie Daggett, CBS News, London.